Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm looking for something to tear apart. Something that is not worth to sell, something that nobody is missing if it's torn apart. So let's look around. Hmm. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, what a classic. This will be a separate video once I have time. Hmm. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Thirty megahertz to ninety megahertz. Nobody really needs this. This was, yeah, ausinventarisiert. What's the English term? In 1992. Oh, I need both hands. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Let's have a look inside in this module here. This is a power oscillator and it is tunable from 30 megahertz to 90 megahertz. I don't really expect a lot of parts in here, but it is very heavy. Oh, this is so beautiful. And look at the painting. Hammerschlag lock. This is looking like a 7 16 connector, but somehow modified. And the German Messerleist Tuchel. It needs 300 volts anode voltage and 6.3 volts heater voltage. It consumes 12 watts. And by the way, I'm trying to sell this module, not exactly this one, but this type of module, uh, even the type LO30, for uh, 40 euro or 50 euro on eBay since years, I think eight years or so in my eBay shop, and nobody needs it. I didn't uh, got any request for like 20 euros or so I would have sold it probably but really there's nobody uh, in need of this module so what do we expect to see we expect to see uh, yeah a tunable capacitor variable capacitor um, something like an LC network a little tube uh, at 30 megahertz and 90 megahertz most likely a standard tube an RS uh, what is it called 1019 or uh, ECC 88 probably we will see hmm beautiful gasket and oh yeah there we go Hmm. Beautiful power tube. Other than that, this enclosure is pretty much empty, it seems. My guess is that this complete um, 
module is mounted on the face plate and if I remove uh, these two screws I can probably pull it out of uh, the aluminium enclosure. Let's see. No, this didn't really work. So I have removed the other two screws here and we will remove the face plate now. Nice tuning mechanism. And we have more screws down here in order to remove the complete uh, electronics inside. This is the mechanical part and I really like it. I will keep uh, this section here. Maybe I can do something with it like a uh, yeah, volume potentiometer for a stereo tube amplifier or something like that. It's something weird. I love weird stuff. And there we go. Oh, I need both hands. Wait a minute. Here's a wonderful capacitor. And it's pretty much that's all inside of this signal generator. That's a great cap. 500 volts DC for microfarads. These usually are of very high quality. It's okay. Wow! <laughs> wow! Look at this coil. Oh, this is a wonderful ceramic construction. Wonderful! Amazing! This is so beautiful! <laughs> Wow, they used a ceramic material to get a high Q factor and yeah, a very precise value that doesn't change uh, with heat or vibrations. This is a complete new day. <laughs> I had to stop the recording for some very important uh, topics. So, we return uh, with this Wandel & Goldermann oscillator. This is the beautiful variable capacitor. Wonderful. Hmm, beauty. This is wonderful. Amazing. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> okay, are you ready? A stands for anode voltage. This, I guess, is the heater in German Heizung. Uh, it's also in Chinese Heizung. And we have M for probably modulation. Woo! Wonderful! <laughs> So this is a filter to to suppress the RF. Uh, you don't want the RF uh, to go outside of this box. Very nice. Beautiful. Yeah, that's it for today. See you again soon. Please support the daily bib. Put a thumbs up. That's all it needs. That's all it needs. I found something uh, that's interesting. In this unit, uh, R3, one kilo ohm, is still in place, but it's not necessary in the next uh, series. 1964. Wow. Yeah, this unit was used, Wandel and Goldman internally as it has an inventory sticker for Wandel and Goldermann. I have like two or three kilograms of aluminium and I get uh, probably 80 cent or one euro 
for each uh, kilogram. Here's the gasket. And guess what? It's a standard RF cable. <laughs> That's unexpected. But it works. Good idea. Here's the manual. Just have a look at the pictures. Mm, nice. Ah, yes. If you want to read, please press pause. Wow. Woo. This is exciting. Beautiful. <laughs> this is like the one we have torn apart. This is for the higher frequencies. They have uh, these little tubes here. Anschlussplatte. Ah, this is uh, for the external use without the main unit. Again. Ah, now there's a different. Ah, this is for the all for the different models. This is this is a this is really wonderful. What do you think? Here is our unit LO30. Parts list LO20, LO4, data. It's all about data. Fun fact if every one of my subscribers would pay one euro every month uh, through patreon i could easily do youtube full time which would mean lots and lots of more videos exciting stuff probably live streams and so on and so on